Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Nick from California, and thank you for watching the free pronunciation class with Connect English. Um, I want you all to say, uh, I want the whole class to say, hi, world. Are you guys ready to say, hi, world? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Hi, world! Okay, we've got a big, fun group of students in here today from lots of different countries. And uh, if you're watching from a different country, different city, different state, uh, please put in the comments, hi from uh, Belarus, hi from Milano, Italy, hi from Cape Town, South Africa, hi from Erbil, uh, Kurdistan, Northern Iraq, okay? Type it into the comments. Also, you can say, happy birthday, Dad, because today is my dad's uh, birthday. He is 69 years old today. So you could say, happy birthday, Jim, in the comments if you'd like to, but comment where you're watching from, where you're learning from. It's always interesting to see who and how many people are watching from all of these different countries. We have a few people in the audience here in class today who started out watching the pronunciation class on Facebook months ago and now are here studying in Connect English. We have Eloise and Lais. Which city? From which city? Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. They're Paulistanas. Okay, yeah. cool. And then we have Lucy and Candy over here. We have Noriko. We have Lucas, Ilma, Marcio, uh, Alini, Giovanna, and Kazuko. Okay. So again, type it in the comments. Say hello from your city. Hello from your country. Or say happy birthday, Dad. Okay. My dad will watch this. He'll love it. Okay. Also, please share the class. It's a free class. So click the share button to give it to all of your friends also. It's completely free. So please share it. It doesn't cost anything. It's a free opportunity to improve your English skills. Okay, so let's get started, okay? Um, what are my two rules of my pronunciation class? Two rules are don't what, Lucas? Don't cross your arms. That's right. Don't cross your arms. Uncross them. Nice job, Eloise. You've been, er, you've been practicing. That's great. <laughs> Giovanna, you uncrossed them, right? Thank you very much. Good. Because I want you to be ready to uh, feel the pronunciation, okay? You've got to physically feel it to be a good speaker, okay? Rule number two is don't worry about mistakes, okay? Everybody's going to make some mistakes because I have chosen difficult vocabulary. I intentionally chose vocabulary that's not easy. So some mistakes are going to happen, and when you make a mistake, it's an opportunity to learn, okay? We're going to play pronunciation math today. Who loves math? Raise your hand if you love math. Okay, uh, put your hand low if you hate math. Okay, <laughs> a lot of students. I also don't like math, but pronunciation math is excellent, okay? So, uh, why did I select these 10 words? Why these 10? Why? It's they're difficult, difficult, and they're also similar, okay? So it's we will put boxes. To, What's that? Easy to com confuse. That's right. Easy to confuse these words if we're not careful. So we have to be careful. We have to learn how to feel the sounds. So let's get started. First, number one up here, what does this word mean? What does that word mean? Ugh, ugh. Mad, unhappy, furious, okay, angry, okay. What are some things that make you angry? What are some things that cause you to feel angry? When you speak Portuguese in English. That's right, Irma, good. When anybody so speaks Portuguese in class, that makes me, teachers, angry, it makes other <laughs> students angry. Also a good example, bad drivers, right? People who are maybe texting while driving, it's like, oh, duh, okay? So that's angry. And then what does this one mean, number two? Yeah, what does that mean? When you need to, to eat. Need to eat. I need food. I am hungry. Students confuse these words a lot, and they say, Nick, I don't know how to pronounce the difference. Let's talk about the difference, okay? So uh, for this one here, Everybody please put up two fingers. Put two fingers up. Okay? Good job, Alini. And touch here. Not the middle, but the sides of your throat. Ah, ah, ah. ah, ah, ah. Angry. Really good. The sound is from all up here. Ah, ah, ah. Angry. I'm angry about my bad grades. I'm angry at my brother because he ate all of the pizza before I got home from work. Okay? So I'm angry, I'm unhappy, I'm mad, I'm furious, Ugh! okay? This is a pretty easy sound here because we just use the ah, ah, ah sound, ah, 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 angry, okay? I'm angry today, okay? I had a bad day at work, so I'm angry. I should go to the gym 
and exercise. That's a good thing to do when you're angry, okay? Now, uh, this one, number two, is more difficult because a lot of students don't know you have to put the pressure. So everybody put the fist up. Candy, you know what's coming, all right? Lucy, put it up, okay? Get it ready, okay? And Laís, you know what's happening, right? Okay, everybody, Giovanna, put it up. This one is, ugh! Uh, hungry. hungry. Yeah. Now it has the huh, 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 at the beginning, but most important is the uh sound. I am hungry today. And an easy way to remember is think about your stomach, right? Oh, I'm hungry today. We need pressure in the stomach, okay? If you have no pressure in your stomach, you could accidentally say angry. You walk into In N Out Burger, you say, Hello, have a good uh, nice to meet you. I'm very angry today. And in and out Burger will say, oh, really? I'm so sorry. Is it, oh, what no, I I'm very... Yeah, why? why what I did. Well, yeah, exactly. in and out Burger, they're so friendly. Why would they be... Why would you be angry with in and out Burger? No. You'd be, you would say, hi, I'm very hungry today. Give me two double-doubles, french fries, and a chocolate shake. Okay? So this one needs pressure in the stomach. It's very important to feel it down here. Ugh! Hungry! Uma, you've practiced this before. Give it to us. Give us hungry. Hungry. Yeah, and more. Ah, uh, hungry. One more time. Hungry. Hungry. I like that. I heard the pressure. Right, Luis, your turn. Hungry. Hungry. That's right. Good job. Uh, okay. All right, Alini, your turn. New student. Give us hungry. Hungry. Very good pronunciation. And now up here, angry. Try it for us, Alini. Angry. Angry. There you go. That was so good. Do you feel the difference? between angry and hungry, okay? Kazuko, give it a try. Give us first the easy one. Angry. Angry. Really good. And now, hungry. Hungry. Really good job. I heard the pressure. The pressure matters, okay? All right? Lucy, it's your turn. Give us a, give us a hungry. Hungry. Give us more pressure, please. Hungry. Hungry. More pressure, please. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. More pressure. Hungry. I like it. I heard it better that time. And now give us the easy one. Touch here. Angry. Angry. Yeah, Noriko, your turn for angry. Angry. Really good job. And now hungry. Hungry. That's it. Okay. And now Marcio, your turn. Hungry. Hungry. Yeah, and now angry. Angry. Really good job. Did you hear that for angry, no pressure. A -a -a angry. Okay. Angry. angry. But now for, for, for hungry, the pressure is important. Okay. Gotta have that pressure or you might accidentally say this one, okay? And you're gonna tell someone the wrong emotion that you're feeling, okay? All right, Giovanna, give it a try. Give us angry. Angry. Really good, okay, and now here, give us the pressure, hungry. Hungry. Good job, Laís, your turn, hungry. Hungry. And now, angry. Angry. Really good job, Lucas, your turn, angry. Angry. Good, and now, give us the pressure, hungry. Hungry. That's right, Candy, your turn, hungry. Hungry. Good job, and now, angry. Angry. Very good. You gotta feel the difference, okay? If you don't try to feel it, you could confuse people. You could accidentally say the wrong word. Okay, let's do it as a class. Everybody together, put those two fingers up. One, two, three. Angry. 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 Really good. And now put the pressure in your stomach. Hungry. Hungry. Yeah, I am hungry today. And if I don't eat food soon, I'm gonna be hungry and I'm gonna be angry, right? We actually have a word for that in English, a new word, a slang term that we created. It is hangry. Okay? Hangry. It's not a real word in English, but we say when you're so hungry and you become angry because of you need food, okay? Ugh, I haven't eaten anything since breakfast and it's 7 p.m. I am hangry. Ah, man, I'm so mad because I need food. So this is not a real word, but people use it frequently as a joke in English, to be hangry, okay? All right. Okay, let's talk about the next one. And uses the same sound as angry. So everybody put up the two fingers again, okay? And touch right here. And. And. Good. Ah, ah, ah. And. Yeah. And. Okay. Rhymes with hand, okay? Rhymes with sand, like at the beach, okay? Ah, ah, ah. And. And. Okay, now this one is a little more difficult, but not too difficult. Remember, just put your teeth together for this one. Same sound, teeth together, end. Mm. Good job, Giovanna, I see it. Teeth together, end. Mm. And what time does the party end? Mm. End. Mm. 
Nice. Give it a try. Give us the teeth together. And now open up for and. Good job. Do you feel the difference? Mm-hmm. Good job. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of students, I hear them saying, I watched the movie Titanic from the beginning until the end. Until the and what? And the iceberg came? Uh, Leonardo died? What? And what? Oh, I watched it until the end. The end. The teeth together. Okay? The teeth together. All right? So, Lucy, give it a try. Give us the teeth together. End. Good job. More with the teeth. Close the teeth. End. That's good. And now open for and. Good job. Noriko, your turn for teeth together. End. Good job. And now open for and. Good job. I heard the difference and I saw the difference. Good work. Okay? Let's do it as a class. This is a pretty easy one, I think. Okay? Just remember, close your teeth for number four. But let's start with number three. Two fingers up. One, two, three. And. and. Good job, Marcio. I see you open it up. Good work. And now for number four, close your teeth. And. 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 Yeah, it's pretty similar, but just with the teeth closed. And. and. Okay? And. Okay, this next one is pretty important. I hear a lot of Brazilians making this mistake. So this is especially for our Brazilians today. Do we have any Brazilians in class today? <laughs> we have a lot. Yeah, it's a big Brazilian group today. Okay, why <coughs> is something that's a long distance from one side to the other? For example, this board is pretty wide. Long distance from here to there, okay? Let's make some examples of countries that are wide. Is the USA a wide country? Yes. Okay, what about China? Is China a wide country? Yes. What about Italy? No. No, no. exactly. Italy is a narrow country, okay? But wide. What are some other examples of wide <laughs> countries that you can think of? Russia. Russia, Russia is a good one. Russia, yeah. is, how about Turkey? Is Turkey a wide country? Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's pretty wide. It's smaller than Russia, but it's still definitely a wide country, okay? Um, Brazil is a wide country also, pretty wide from the coast, from Fortaleza, over to the border of Peru, right? It's a very long distance. It is a wide country, okay? What does this mean? Number six. What does that mean? A lion. It's a, what's that? A lion. A lion, okay? It's an example of a wild animal, okay? It is an animal that doesn't live in your house. It has to live, it has to live in the forest. It has to live in the mountains. It cannot be a friend for humans, okay? A horse is not a wild animal normally. But there are some horses that live wild, okay? They live in the forest, they live in the mountains. But generally, um, wild animal, a lion is a great example, Giovanna. A snake is frequently wild, okay? Um, birds, there are wild birds outside the window right now, okay? So wild means not domesticated, doesn't live at your house, doesn't live inside, not friends with people, okay? Wild, okay? So this one... Let's talk about pronunciation. Let me switch to green. Mm, let's go with black. For this one, this is just one syllable. Okay? And it has, and we'll just put a small one there. Okay? It is white. Okay? Everybody try it for me with one syllable. White. White. Yeah, white. Easy, right? Now this one, I'm going to give a new way to say it. Wild. Wild. Good. Slow it down. Two syllables, please. Okay? Two syllables, please. This is wild. wild. Good. Kazuko, try it for me. Give me wild. wild. Good job. I heard the two syllables. Nice and clear. Okay? Alini, try it for me. Wild. wild. Good job using the two syllables. Uma, your turn for wild. wild. Good. And Lucas, wild. wild. Good. Marcio? Wild. Good. Uh... Eloise, you try it. Wild. Wild. Really good job. Laís, your turn. Wild. Good. Okay. And let's go to Lucy. Wild. Good. And Candy? Wild. Good. Noriko? Wild. Giovanna? Wild. Good job, everybody. Everybody did it with two syllables. Wild. What happens is many students try to say this very quickly. And when you say it quickly, it becomes that by accident. Okay? So you could say, for example... <clears throat> I was uh, hiking in the mountains, and I saw a wide animal. A wide animal in the mountains? Um, uh, maybe a wide animal could be like an elephant, or a, ba a bear is a good example, Marcio. A wide animal, right? But a snake, for example, is not a wide animal, right? So 
if you say, oh, I saw a wide animal when I was, at the, when I was uh, in the mountains or in the forest, people say, oh, wide animal, hippopotamus? <laughs> okay, oh, I saw a wild animal. Okay, so we got to slow it down. Two syllables. So I like to put a one and a two right there. Like a wild. child. Like child, exactly. We can practice that one another week because there's another word called chid, which means to... To, be, uh, to, to, uh, to get angry with somebody about a problem they, they caused. You say, yo, you left the refrigerator open. That's to chide someone, okay? And child is two syllables, okay? We can practice that another week, but good example, Eloise, okay? So it's wild. Let's practice the easy one together, everybody. The single syllable, one syllable. You ready? One, two, three, wide. Wide. Good, great. That's an easy one. But now this one, remember, everybody breathe. Get ready to slow it down. Okay, one, two, three, wild. 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 Good wild. job, Candy. I really hear it. Good job with that. Alini, give it a try again. Wild. wild. Really good job with the two syllables. Very clear that way. Good work. Okay, all right. <clears throat> the next one we're going to do, okay, this one is um, when you say, yeah, ah, Emma, you already know this verb? Good for you. This is an advanced verb right here. This is when your head goes up and down when you're saying yes, nod. Okay. Okay. Candy, do you speak English? Yes. Okay, so nod. Nod. Mm -hmm. Nod. Mm -hmm. Giovanna, can you speak Portuguese? Nod. No, no, hold on, not nod, just <laughs> nod. Do, do the action, okay? Uh huh. Yeah, that's to nod. Okay, Noriko, nod for me. Very good, wonderful. Head goes up and down, that's like the yeah. So to <laughs> nod. Nod is the verb, okay? For this one, everybody, please put up just one finger and touch here. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, nod. 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 Yeah, nod. this is an easy one to say, okay? And I do it a lot in class. You'll see me frequently. Lucas is doing it perfectly. We all do this, right? Oh, yeah. Do not. Okay? So that's easy, but this one is more difficult. What does this one mean? Number eight, what does that mean? A geek? Who said geek? That was great, Noriko. Yeah. A geek and a nerd, very smart. Okay, very, very smart. A nerd is especially super smart, but maybe not very social. Okay, so he just wants to kind of stay in his room and play World of Warcraft all night. Okay, great game. Okay, and we say nerds make the world go round. Nerds invented your smartphone. Nerds invented all of the new technology, so hey, nothing wrong with nerds. They are great people. But this is sometimes an insult, okay? When I was a kid, if someone said, Nick, you're a nerd. Like, <laughs> but now when someone says, you're a nerd, like, yeah, nerd power, okay? Right? So nerd is a term for a super smart person. Anyone have a family member who is a nerd? Yeah, I think most of us in our family have somebody who is a nerd, okay? Let's talk about pronunciation, okay? For this one, we need to look at our lips. So I want everybody to get your smartphone out, please. Get your smartphone, put it on selfie camera, okay? Put it on selfie camera, please. Because I want you to look at your lips when we do this one. It's very important to look at the shape of your mouth when you do this one, okay? Ah, good, we've got Lucas and Uma sharing smartphone. That's great, okay? All right, Candy, don't worry, you look great, okay? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna look at your mouth when we do this one here, nerd, because I want you to push your lips forward and open. I'm gonna show the camera first. This one is nerd, okay? So we have to think about your lips. We need to push them forward and open, nerd. Not ooh, but err. Good job, Noriko. Good improvement. We were talking about this before class, yeah. this sound. Okay? So you have to think about your lips. Many students try to use their ears and they just say nod. Nod. He's a nod. He's so smart. He's a nod? I don't know. Oh, no. He is a nerd. Nerd. Ilma, that's looking really good. Eloise, looking great. Laisi, give it a try. Nerd. Really good. Her lips are doing the perfect thing. Forward and open. Candy, try it for me. Nerd. Nerd. Really good job, okay? Nerd. All right, and Lucy, try it for us. Nerd. Nerd. Good job. I saw your lips go forward and open. That was perfect. Noriko, <laughs> give it a try. This one was a tough one for you, but I think you can do it. Nerd. 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 Good job. You're doing the perfect thing with the lips. Nerd. Many students do what I call the smile version of this. Nod. Nerd. 
Ah, and that's not it. Okay. Uh uh. Nod. My brother is a nod. He stays on his computer all day. He's a nod. That's not it. Don't do the smile version. It's not the right pronunciation. This is er. No, at least you got it. Kazuko, try it for me. Nerd. Really good. You all see that she's pushing her lips forward and open. All right. Giovanna, give it a try. Nerd. Good. Oh, you're doing the smile version. Remember, push your lips forward and open. Er. That's better. You're still smiling at the end. And that smiling is good, generally. But for this pronunciation, I don't want nerd. I want er. Nerd. That's better. I can see it. Good job. Alini, try it for us. Nerd. Nerd. Good. The lips are doing the perfect thing. Marcio, nerd. Nerd. Really good. Let's do it as a class, everybody. Remember, think about your lips. They are forward and open. Let me show the camera again. Er, 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 like early and birthday. Okay? Everybody has a class. One, two, three. Nerd. Nerd. Good. And now let's do the easy one. One, two, three. Nod. 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 Yeah, Lace, did you have a question? Uh, the candy? Uh-huh. The, the fruit candy, right? Nerds. I love nerds. Nerds, nerds. candy. Nerds. It's one of my favorites. I ate so many of those when I was a kid. Just, uh, <laughs> or just, uh, <laughs> nerds. Exactly. Nerds. Like, it's perfect. Nerds candy were some of my favorite candies as a child. Good question. Okay? All right. This next one is pretty easy. This is the same sound as nod. This is mop. So again, put up that finger and touch here. Ah, ah, ah. Just like walk and sock. Okay? This is mop. Okay? We all know this thing. We all have it in a house or at work or something. You use it to make the floor wet, to clean up a mess, right? It's not a broom which is for dry problems, a mop is for wet problems, right? Pretty common word to learn in your first chapter of your English book when you were younger, right? When you started learning English, this is one of the first words we learn frequently, okay? This one is a verb for when you're really sad. <sighs> oh man, Manchester United lost the game last night. <sighs> that is to mope, okay? Mope, okay? Oh, I'm so sad, okay? Oh, no. Manchester United lost again. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Or when you... Lace? Okay. This is a verb for when you feel sad. You're feeling sad. It's, but you're not crying. You're just... You're, uh, you're disappointed. You're upset. You're unhappy. You're just... Okay. Because something bad happened and now you're... And your friend says, oh, why are you moping? Are you okay? You want some ice cream? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you mope, it's because something unhappy happened to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for this one, the pronunciation is more difficult. I want you to put up that single finger again. But now, instead of here, we're going to touch here, our nose and our lip. And think about your lip here and pull it over your teeth. Oh. oh. Marcio, that is perfect. Everybody look at Marcio when he does it. Give us more. Yeah, he's really showing it, okay? So, I'd like you again to take your cell phone camera, okay? And I want you to look at your mouth when you do this. Oh, 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 oh. Let me show the camera. Oh, mope. Oh, not mop. Ah, ah, ah. That's this one. Okay, we're doing oh, mope. You need to take your lip and pull your lip over your teeth. Oh, mope, mope. Noriko, try That's perfect, Noriko. I see it. Good job. Give it a try, Noriko. Say it for us. Mo. Mo. That's it. And now mop. Mop. That's right. This one is ah, ah, ah. This one is oh, oh, oh. Like over and for. Okay. And north. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Alini, give it a try. Give us mo. Mo. Really good. And now mop. Mop. Really good. Super good pronunciation. Eloisa, give it a try. Give us mop. Mop. Oh, sorry. Ma. Ah, ah, ah. Ma. That was my mistake. And now mo. Mo. That's it. Why are you moping? Because mom says I have to mop. I have to mop, and I'm sad about that. So now I'm going to mope. Oh, I hate mopping. Okay. So mop and mope are different sounds. And this can be a noun or a verb. To mop can be the verb, or a mop can be the thing. Okay? All right. Let's do this as a class. Everybody together. Put that finger up. One, two, three. Mop. 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 And one, two, three, mope. Mope. Good. Giovanna, give it a try down here. Last one, mope. mope. Good job. Feel that lip cover your teeth. Oh. 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 I also call this the itchy nose sound. Imagine you're going to sneeze. And then you don't sneeze. You go, oh. 
Oh, no, oh, oh. You're going to feel that feeling in your nose. Oh, oh, no. Oh, okay, but you don't sneeze. That's the itchy nose sound. Oh, okay? Let's review them all as a class, and then we'll do the activity pronunciation math. We ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Put those two fingers up for the first one. Angry. Angry. Good. And now put the fist up and get ready to hit yourself. Hungry. Hungry. Really good, everybody. Okay, this one here, same up here is a a a a Good, with those two fingers. Good job. And this one, same sound, kind of, but now with the teeth together. And. 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 Good job. And what happened at the end? Okay, good. This one here, single syllable, something that's far from one side to the other. This is why. Why? Yeah, easy, right? But now this one, remember, slow it down. Two syllables, please. Wild. Wild. Really good. Usually this is so difficult for Brazilian students, but you're doing so well today. Good job. Okay, what's next one? When you agree with somebody, this one is nod. Nod. Ah, yeah, touch right here. Okay, this one here, a super smart person who maybe doesn't like to socialize very much. Okay, this is a nerd. nerd. Good job, Giovanna, pushing the lips, okay? Nerd. All right, Kazuko, give it a try, nerd. nerd. Good job, er, 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 that's great. Next one here, this is what we use to clean a wet mess on the floor. This is a uh, 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 mop. Mop. And now here, when we're sad, um, you're kind of moping, oh, mope. Oh. Good, and pull that lip down. Okay, are you ready for some pronunciation math? Okay, here's how it works, okay? I have some numbers here, okay? And I'd like you to be ready to do some easy math that I will give you. But I'm not going to say the numbers. I'm going to say the words, okay? So I'm going to stand over here. So for example, and I'm, this is the first example one, I'm going to give you A and B, C and D, and then you add them together, Okay? So, for example, the first one I'll give you guys is <clears throat> nerd. Eight. Yes. So we would put an eight here. Okay. The next one is <clears throat> wild. Six. six. Yeah. So you put a six here. Okay. Now for C, we're going to do <clears throat> nod. Seven. Yeah. And then for D, we're going to do hungry. Two. Yeah, so we're going to do 8 plus 6 and 7 plus 2. Let's put these up here to show everybody watching on Facebook. 8 plus 6, 7 plus 2, so this is 14. Oh, I put a 9, that's not right. 7 plus 2 equals 9, so 14 plus 9 equals? 23. 23 candy, okay? Good. So that's how it works, okay? So I gave an example, and now I want some of you to tell us the numbers, okay? I'm going to clean the spaces. Okay, now when the classmate says the, the word this time, do not call the number. We were just doing that for practice. Just write it down on your paper, okay? <laughs> Who wants to be the first victim? I mean, volunteer. All right, nice. Welcome to the class. Okay, don't show Eloise the numbers. Okay. <laughs> okay, there they are. Okay, remember to speak them loudly, slowly, and clearly for us. Okay, loudly, slowly, and clearly. So, <clears throat> Lice, for the uh, number A, for space A, what is the number? Say it for us clearly. And. Okay. Three. <laughs> okay, that's okay. She's excited. I like that. Okay. The uh, number B is. Okay, cool. And uh, then uh, letter C is? I'll tell you, here it is. Say it for us. Mom. That's it, okay. And D is? What, what, what? Hmm? What? Hmm? Why? It's one syllable. One syllable. What? Yeah. What? Hmm? what? That's it. Okay, that's it. All right. So do the math real quick. I give everybody about ten seconds to do some math. Giovanna's already got it. She's Einstein over there. Okay, yeah. she's so good at math. Clearly. Okay. Uh, so A is what? What number do you think, y'all? Three. Three. That's a three. I agree. That's Anne. She did that very clearly. And B is. 
angry. Well, number one, she said angry, and that was nice and clear. The next one's got more difficult, though. Uh, letter C was? Mop. 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 Yeah, mop is what she said. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And D was? Wide. Wide, yeah. Okay, so the math says this is 4 and this is 14. So the answer is? 18. 18. Good job, everybody. Okay, cool. All right, now we're going to do equation 2. Okay, the next person will do equation 2. What's the difference? Minus. Minus. Okay, so when you do the math, please carefully consider that it's C minus D. Okay? All right, next victim. Okay? Lucas, always volunteering. I like this guy. Okay, there are your numbers. We're going to do them loudly, slowly, and clearly. <laughs> Okay, if you're watching at home, write them down. See if you can get the right answer for these uh, four numbers put together combined, okay? So let's see. The first one is, space A, Lucas, is? And. Good job. Okay. Space B is? Nope. Very good. Space C is? Nerve. Very good. And space D is? Hungry. Mm. Oh, hungry. Mm. More pressure, dude. <laughs> hungry. That's it. Really good job. Okay. Take a moment to do the math. Remember that it's C minus D. 20. Seven. Okay. Ten. 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 Ooh, we have some different numbers, huh? <laughs> okay. And that was uh, equation C, right? Okay, so A was, let's review it. A was what? Four. Yeah. End. He didn't end. His teeth were together. Okay. Okay. B was? Zero. Yeah. Zero. Zero. Yeah, this is not a 10, that's a zero. That's why you got 20. Now I understand. Eight, nine, eight. Yeah, that's a zero. zero. Letter C was? Eight. eight. Yeah, so that's, say it again for us, Lucas. Eight. Oh, eight. Mm -hmm. Good job. Er, er, er. Great pronunciation. Okay. And letter D is? Yeah, that was too hungry. 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 Ugh, the pressure is important, okay? So we have 4 plus 0 equals 4. 8 minus 2 equals 6. Our total is? 10. 10. So 10 is the answer for that one. Good job, everybody. When you said 20, you were right because of you thought this was a 10, but it's a one, 0. Two, three, four, ten. 9, 0. Yeah, my bad. I did that to you. Okay, let me make some spaces here. We're going to do two more of these. You're doing great work, everybody. Yeah. Remember, if you're watching at home while I'm erasing, click the share button, okay? Share it with your friends. It's a free class, okay? Okay? Okay. All right. So the next one is D. I'm going to give this one to, let's give it to a new language now. I want this one to go to Noriko. Noriko, you get it, okay? We're going to do equation one, so it's plus and plus, okay? And that makes it nice and clear. All right, Noriko, go ahead. What is uh, letter A of your new equation? A is? Wide. Very good. B is? N. Very good. Letter C is? Wild. Very good. Good job. And D is? N. Hmm? N. That's it. Good job. I need to. Okay. Super fast, huh? Okay. Take a moment. Marcio, what do you think? What's the number, brother? <laughs> 17. Mmm. Yeah, 17. Mmm? 17. Mm, I think it's different. I know the answer. What did you say, Lais? I think it's 18. Last one. It's 18. Let's review it together, okay? So again, one more time, Noriko. The answer for A is? Wide. Wide. Okay, so let's put that up here. Wide. Okay, that's a 5. The answer for B is? End. Good job. She's got her teeth together. End. End. Uh-huh. It'd be better if the student to be looking for us. Yes, but you have to listen. A I see what you're saying. Because but you can't always hear. My mistake was and and and. Yeah. If she didn't, if I 
didn't see it. Correctly. Yeah. I cannot say that. Sure, but in some cases you have to listen without seeing the teeth. I see what you mean. I agree with you. But we need some difficulty in here. I agree though, Giovanna. So she said teeth together and and say it for us again, Noriko. And and that's it. Okay. Letter C. You said wild or wild. Good job with the two syllables. And letter D was and good. Open more for that one. And, and. that's it. That's nice and clear now. Okay. So you have to be careful with opening big for and. Okay. I'm with my friends and my family. Okay. And then teeth together and. Okay. All right, so the math is five plus four is nine, six plus three is nine, total is 18, okay? Good work. Final one, any volunteers for the final one? Let's see, that's great. Okay, I'm happy that you're volunteering. Thank you, okay? Yeah, she volunteered her hand, she didn't put her hands up, but she was saying volunteer, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. So again, now we're doing equation two. Remember, it has a minus down here, okay? Okay, let me put, I won't put the numbers up yet. Okay, so for A, Lucy, the first one for A is? No. Good, okay. Letter B is? Wild. Good job, very clear. Letter C is? Mo. What's that? Mo. Okay, and letter D is? Okay, do that again with a little more. more. That's it, I like it. Good job. Four. 22. Remember that we have a minus, okay? Oh, four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the result. Okay. Four. four. One, two, three, four. I have. <laughs> I have something bigger than that. I have two. What do you have, Lucas? I have 22 also, okay. but I cheated because yeah. I can look, yeah. All right, so Lucy, let's review it, okay? A was what? Seven. Yeah, nod, okay? That's just aw, 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 nod. So good job, Lucy, that was nice and clear. Letter B was? Wild. Good job with the two syllables, wild. Wild. Wild, yeah, so that is there. Letter C is? Good job, but just the ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, really good. Now, the last one was a little close, so that's why I asked you to pull your lip down more. So that one is? Mo. Mo. Yeah, o. Mo. Okay, that's zero. So seven plus six is? 13. Nine minus zero is still nine? 22. 22. Lucas and I got it. Put it right here, Lucas. Yeah. Good job, man. Okay. All right, everybody, let's do a quick review of the final numbers again, just to make sure we feel them, and then we'll finish the class. So here we got those two fingers up, angry. Angry. Good, and now here with the fist, hungry. Hungry. The pressure is important, good job. For this one, open big again like angry, and. and. Yeah, and now keep those teeth together, and. 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 Good, okay. This one here, this one's a long distance across, okay? This is white. 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 Yeah, single syllable. Good work, everybody. Now slow this one down. This is an animal that lives in the forest. It's not friendly to humans usually. This is wild. 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 Good job. I can see everybody doing the two syllables. That's important. Wild. One more time. Wild. 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 Good. Okay, this one here. When you're saying yes, but by shaking your head, nod. Nod. Uh, uh, uh. uh, uh, uh. <coughs> This one here, let's show the camera again. Push your lips forward and open. Nerd. Nerd. Yeah. Err. Not ah. Err. Nerd. Marcio, super good. Kazuko, looking great. Okay. And then this one here, to clean the floor with some water. Okay, this is a mop. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Same sound as nod. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And this one here is when you're feeling sad. It's the verb for when you're. Not happy because your favorite team lost last night. This is to oh 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 oh, 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 oh. pull your lip down over your teeth. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, one last time, everybody, share the class. It's totally free. Okay, let me pick this up. We always do this ceremony at the end of my pronunciation class. Please put out one arm like this, one arm, and turn your hand like this and pat yourself on the back. Everybody keep doing it. I'm going to show it on the camera now. 
Ah, oh, good job, Noriko. Pat yourself on the back. You did good work. Okay, we're gonna say bye world to everybody. Y'all ready to say bye world? One, two, three. Bye world! Okay. So, thank you for watching the free pronunciation class with Connect English. If you want to come to San Diego, California and learn English with some of the best students in the world, you can uh, go to our website, just connectenglish.edu. It's really easy to get good information and good support to get a student visa and come improve your English skills with these awesome students right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next week. We do this class every Wednesday. Have a good night.